sound is right. Disable the fat totems and the gate couplings. And always repair them later.
The Vex toy has me, you annoying creature. This way. Finish with those fabricants. Follow me. Beautiful, isn't it? One of Sir the Seal's favorite atelier. I think that. Well, that's the atelier behind. Almost certainly. Sunara led. Maybe. Probably. It's a distinct possibility. Certainly the hound and his master think so. Whether it will actually work or not, you have to go... As I said, the Atelier is the workshop where Sotha Seal used Sonora to experiment with his own divine energy. The reservoir located inside was specifically designed to contain such massive power. As far as workshops go, it's a masterpiece. Maybe. Probably. It's a distinct possibility. Certainly the Hound and his master think so. Whether it will actually work or not, you have to go in there and stop him. The danger's too great to ignore. No, no, that's inadvisable. The Atelier has defenses. You have no idea what it will do if it marks one of Sotha Seal's apprentices as an enemy. Neither do I. You go. I'll use the... Clutch activated. Open that vault and destroy its defenses.
Responsive now. Open the North Fort and destroy its defenses. Final touch is active. Open it and enter the energy reservoir. Strange fluctuations ahead. Barbus is manipulating the energy reservoir. Hurry!
Sonora! Then retrieve Lord Vivek's energy from the reservoir conduit. Lots of interference. mortal who gave my poor dog so much trouble. I suppose we should have a chat, you and I. How dare you discipline my dog? He was only trying to appease his master, and I'd never harm a hair on whatever insignificant creature you hold dear. You, on the other hand, require a lesson. Indeed. What ambition! As you can see, Barbus isn't a bad dog. He does get easily excited and overzealous. He embellished my plans somewhat, but it all worked out in the end. And we found the Clockwork City! This little flea thinks it's smart, but my plans are beyond its comprehension. Still, by delaying the inevitable, you caused my associates and I some trouble. You'll stay here until you're no longer a threat. How does a few decades sound to you? Let's go. Quiet, dog! Haven't you... Wait. Who dares intrude upon my lesson? Found you. Over here. Oh. Clavicus vile. This isn't good. I lost you somewhere between the Clockwork City and Vivek, but it was simple enough to trick. Hmm. That would be unfortunate for you. Luckily, you have me to assist you. Well, me and... Be gone, meddling wizard! That stings, little flea! actually worked. <laughs> well, glad to see you're still alive, Assistant. Hurry, Outlander. Vivek is nearly spent. My time draws to a close. Were you successful? So you retrieved my stolen energy. You Stop Barbus. Now, return what is rightfully mine. To quote my 75th exhortation, certainty is the brother of fear. Nothing is certain, but I have confidence in you. Oh, you sooner and restore my energy. Praise Vivek, his energy is restored. Remarkable. No Ordinator or Armager could have done any better. You uncovered a Daedric spy in our midst, brought a living god back from the brink of death, and saved all of Vardenfell. Well done, my friend. As my next sermon shall proclaim, modesty is the false cloak of a flatterer, or the sincere garment of the humble. Again, 
You have my gratitude, and that of all my people. Indeed, even those who rail against the Tribunal owe you their lives. You have done gratitude is its own reward, I once told the crowds in Ebenhard. But I found that some of my followers appreciate something more tangible. Help me reward those who aided in the saving of Vardenfell, so we can reassure my people. To start, retrieve the Archcanon's signet from the Hall of Wisdom. It is time to appoint a new head priest. I shall gather my people and meet you at my statue on the central canton. One last task before your service ends, my friend.
Rejoice. You cursed the darkness with good reason. Now praise the return of the light. The eyes and ears of the warrior poet returns. And just in time for the... Continue to guard it. For it represents not only my loyal servant Tarvis, but also the past and future of my priesthood. And take this as well. You have been my eyes and ears in the world. Now be my hands. Within the modest sack resides gifts for my faithful servants. Blessings from me, though I would have you deliver them. You served me in adversity. Now join me as I call forth my faithful. Reach into the sack and give them the first thing you find. They shall hear my words of praise and gratitude, while it shall be your hand that rewards them. Are you ready, friend of Vivek? Overseer Shiralas, step forth. Overseer Shiralas, you sacrificed your blessing stones to aid the warrior poet. Well done. Take these recharged stones and finish building my city, after relaxing with your patient wife. Thank you, Lord Vivek. I shall do as you ask. Battles up. Approach. Your knowledge of the mysteries of my brother Sotha Seal and the intricate twists and turns of portal magic were invaluable. Take this and use it well to further your experiments. Gemstones, filled with a tiny fraction of divine energy. Amazing and so very generous. With careful tuning, this could improve portal magic a hundredfold. Thank you. Canon Levul, kneel before me. Was that... Did Lord Vivek summon me? Archcanon Tarvis served us well until his death. But when I was most in need of assistance, Canon Levul rose to the occasion. Now rise once more as Archcanon Levul. My lord, I'm not worthy. But I shall endeavor to become so. Thank you. And I can't wait to inform my ancestors. In every poem, it's the last stanza that holds the most meaning. Once a stranger to our land, now a friend forever. Step forward. You come before me with an empty sack. But have no fear. As I have written, Treat your enemies well, and your friends even better. Know that I consider you to be a very good friend. Will you accept the honor? Then let it be known that from this moment forth, you shall be called the Champion of Vivek. And along with my thanks, take this modest reward. I foresee even greater achievements in your future. But for now, be content to be the Hero of Morrowind.
If food will go... Lord Vivet. Are you here about my request? We have to fix this before it's too late. I know all your clients have burdens to bear, but I'm speaking of the very fabric of Nern here. Master Allah plans to perform an experiment that will alter the laws of our reality, and I need you to stop it. I require... His calculations have grown incomprehensible to me. I respected him. He was brilliant. Always looking at all the possibilities, at the entire... We must prepare for the worst. Magic has long lingering and far-reaching effects. Perhaps...
house Talwani still keeps slaves? How edits do those lazy majors accomplish anything? But what about the pact? Has Talwani stayed out of the pact? How can I help you? Yes? Is there something I can do for you, Outlander? My daughter has been gone too long and the house guard can't seem to find a wall in the corner. But why should I trust you with this? An interesting insight. They have fled after a family disagreement. Captain Briven oversees the house's attempt to locate my daughter. You should speak to him and see what his investigation has already turned up. That is a private matter. Like my daughter, my wife has a mind of her own. What the two of you discuss is your own affair. Just understand that I haven't employed you to solve my family's problems. I only... Customers are always welcome. Well met, comrade. I have an urgent message from the Guildmaster. Report to me at once. I have a task for you. She's running things out of the Guildhall in Darwin's watch at the moment. The eight guide you, comrade. No, but I have an idea. Word in the hall. Disputes between houses are trivial when one thinks of the horrors of Molag Bor. Will you join the fight against him? Not now, Outlander. If you need some sort of assistance, go find one of the house guard. 
You must be one of the freelancers the council employed to supplement the duties of the house guard. Very well. I'll tell you what I know. Vea ran away. Again. I hope you can succeed where my troops have failed. If anything happens to Vea... I've known the Relith family since I was a child. Vea is like a sister to me, and I'll do everything in my power to get her home safe and sound. Even trust an outlander. We think her friends may know where she is, but they keep eluding us. Perhaps. As long as you don't get too close. They've been running notes of late. I think it has something to do with Vea, but the runners keep evading my guards. Look for a group meeting on the other side of town, and see if you can follow the note. Letter to Drevis. It's important. Just don't let House Redoran get their hands on it. Come, imbibe. Put your cares aside. If you think you're being followed, find a place to hide. Good luck. Stay away from me, I'm warning you! Well done. This should help us determine what happened to Vea's brother. Hello, can I help you? Wait a moment. You're one of those hirelings House Redoran pays to harass us simple folk. Look. All Vea wants to do is to find out what happened to her brother. Too bad the house doesn't seem to care a sweat about any of that. Vea wants nothing to do with the house or her father. Why can't any of you respect that? 
Even if I wanted to help, I haven't seen Vea since she snuck out of town. We communicate by notes, and this one isn't even about her. But if you must know, it concerns Vea's brother. He was an officer in the House Guard before he vanished without a trace. We've been trying to help Vea find him. A local tough goes by the name of Ashur. He delivers the letters. We usually meet him outside of town to the northeast. But good luck trying to get any information out of him. Ashur is not known for his conversational skills. I think we're done here, don't you? I told you where to find Ashur. He's been passing our notes on to Vea. Just to the north and east, outside of town. Or is this your way of offering to save me a trip, since you're headed his way? I'm not telling you anything, you reverend lapdog! a strong set of legs, Traveler, and you look like one capable of protecting yourself. Will you aid an old man? I have an obligation to my family. No, a duty of utmost importance. But I have grown too feeble to fulfill it. It allows one to archive memories for future generations. I hope to do this for my children, who have grown estranged. Invoke my stone at the locations I've marked on your map, and the memories I wish to archive will manage. I thank you for your aid. Fewer than ever are willing to aid their elders in these troubled times. Now I suppose the distance with my children is my fault, not theirs. I'll just take my leave. No use getting my axes blown again. I'm hurt! I had that situation under control. Just needed them to make the first hostile move. Still, 
I cleaned enough blood off my axes for one day, so thanks for lending a hand. You were, were you? Was it Melissa? I told her I'd close out my tab after I completed another contract. That woman has the patience of an anxious nix. Well, tell her I'm good for it. I'll stop by and we can conclude our business cordially. Veya? The new apprentice? Now why in oblivion do you care about Veya? Are you now? And why do you want to do that? Uh, never mind, I don't really care. I was asked to pass along some notes, but I'm not really the messenger type. I suggest you talk to Veya's mentor. Last I heard, she had a job in the Western Ruins. Make sure you don't anger Veya's mentor, even... You know, the usual buyer's remorse. I see a lot of that in my line of work. Turns out, I had to kill a bad man who did bad things. The writ was legal. condition. Yes, wonderful. I'll mark it down. And here, another. Could these have fallen off the ruins? Yes, um, that is peculiar. Is something the matter, dear? You seem distracted today. Oh, oh nothing's the matter. I'm just... I'm nervous. Whatever for. If anything attacks us, I'll protect you. I'm not nervous about an attack, Bravora. It's just... well... That's not the response I hoped for. Gilan, of course I'll marry you. I, I love you. I just expected something more dramatic. Well, I planned to propose at the falls, but today we didn't go to the falls. I, I had to improvise. And this is why you've been so nervous. Yes. Wait. Did you just agree to marry me? Yes, Gilan. A dozen times, yes. My dear, distracted, adorable archivist, I will marry you. That's wonderful! Isn't it? Oh, Bravora, you won't regret this. You are the stars to my sky. <laughs> Did you just come up with that? Well, um, no. I've been saving it for the right time. Vane, of course. Let me summon the portal.
You there, Outlander. So I was right. You're a sword for hire. Excellent. My name is Marla Reithen of House Lalu, and I have a proposition for you. I need someone to investigate what's going on in the Vasya Didanat ebony mine. Piqued your interest, have I? Capital. My brother Benar and I share ownership of the mine, but I suspect he's hiding something from me. The little weasels even lock down the entrance. Only his personal guards are allowed inside. There are only two keys to the mine. Benar keeps one in our manor house. The other is carried by the mine's foreman, Knox. I want you to procure a key, either one, and then search the mine for any sign of mischief. Report back with your findings. Foreman Knox is somewhere in Balmora. Should be simple enough to pluck the key from his pockets. Or, if you prefer burglary, you could take my brother's key from the desk in his study. Our man is just up the hill to the west of town. Outlander. Let me die in the shame I brought to Malakath. <coughs> Defeated by a lone warrior. An assassin. Probably a Morag tongue. She tracked our leader here. But she... She doesn't know. We set a trap... Inside the ruins. Oh. She's just one woman! Get inside the ruins and stop her!
Let the assassin come. I'm tired of running and she doesn't frighten me. Well, now I expect you're not a cultist. At least you sure aren't dressed like one. You're walking into a dangerous place, hero. You must be here for a reason. Questions? I don't have time for questions. I have a writ to complete. Look, I can't keep these evil cultists waiting. You want to talk? Find me after I finish this job. Come out, little assassins! Or is the Mora Tongue too scared to meet the powerful snake face to face? an orc about a writ.
I didn't mean to interfere with House Tovani's plans. I, I made a mistake. A mistake? Well, that explains everything. I'll just let the Tovani know. I'm sure Mage Vainin will understand. Oh, that's right. I thought for sure you were going to kill me. I am. Ugh, I hate when my leathers get wet. And this is a new outfit, too. Ah, oh, well. I suppose we ought to discuss what you're doing here. You're obviously not one of the Malakath cultists, so I have one question. Why the tusk are you following me, and why shouldn't I just kill you and be done with it? Yes, that was two questions, and an orc curse, and a threat. It's been a long day. Well, that's not what I expected. But you can just turn around and leave. You're not going to find her. Faye is going through a difficult time right now. And the last thing she needs is some house brethren lackey adding to her pain and confusion. Really? Is that what old man Eris told you? And did he tell you about Vea's brother? About how house brethren exiled their favored son? No? I didn't think so. Vea needs answers and I promise to help her. So walk away while you still can. Outsiders? Is her father really that desperate? Look, tell Eris that they are safe and you'll see her soon, but no more outsiders. If my organization gets skittish, they'll return to the shadows and take Vea with them. They'll only deal with you. Well, it's not exactly a lie, and I don't want things to get out of hand. I'll arrange a meeting, provided Vea agrees. You let Eris know she's safe. Get him to stop hiring freelancers before someone gets hurt. I'll send word when we're ready. That was poetry in motion. Not only is my organization getting choice assignments again, but we're starting to recover some of our prestige. Oh, him? No one special. Just the leader of this particular band of mad cultists. Is I suppose if you're in for a sliver, you might as well be in for the log. I'm with the Morog Tong, and what you witnessed was a legal murder. According to my writ, the Orc had to die. So, I killed him. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to Vea. Vea and I have a history. A brother, too. They were good kids. That was her decision, not mine. Vea's good with a blade and tracks like a Lord Ranger. She's a natural at this, and it gives me a chance to keep an eye on her. So now I'm her mentor, and she's my apprentice. I wouldn't have it.
may I be of service? I'm surprised to see you back. Vea, join that cult of assassins? She won't meet with me? No, I suppose she's not ready for that. Naryu's back in town? She's as stubborn as Vea. Very well. No other outsiders. Although I can't dismiss the mercenaries that Captain Briven employs. House Redoran is my... As you say. No other outsiders. When next you see her, tell my... Vea has always felt... That may... Well, look at that. Now you said I'd find you. Did I mention how much I hate being a messenger? Makes me wish... Here. This should explain everything. Sort of. It's a map. We change locations every other day for security reasons. Just in case it falls into the hands of House Redarin or someone else with an axe to... Never had to use a map before. <laughs> Amateurs. This one leads to a key to one of our safe houses. And another map. The first map? It depicts a particular town, kind of like this one. Hint, hint. The rest? Well, you'll have to figure that out on your own. Look, I know you're helping Councillor Eris, but if that map falls into House Redder in hands, I'll probably have to kill you. Nothing personal, mind you. We're already having a bit of trouble with the house, and... We... Well, look at you. You're a practical genius. Look, the Morag Tong has the authority to accept and carry out writs of execution. We keep the Great Houses from engaging in all-out war, but they rarely appreciate the work we do on their behalf. House Redarin in particular wants to shut us down. Ugh, the other houses have used us to take Redarin down a peg or two of late. To be As I understand it, the Morag Tong made mistakes in the past, grew too arrogant, we had to lay low for more than a century. Now, we're taking select contracts, working to re-establish our reputation. It's not our fault most of them concern Redoran. What are you implying? Can't a person do something nice to help out an ally every now and again? Oh, who am I kidding? I hate playing the messenger. Haven't you ever done something you hate because it was the right thing to do? Then you understand what I'm talking about. Being noble. My eye. 
eyes look red to you. Sorry about all the subterfuge, but we can't be too careful when it comes to security around here. Don't be so eager, my darling. It reveals too much about your ultimate intentions. But yes, Vea would very much like to meet with you. You intrigue her, and your connection to her father could prove beneficial. Ready in records. House officials keep track of everything. Incidents, commendations... Don't sound so offended. You had to know your hands were going to get dirty eventually. You are dealing with assassins and politicians, after all. The local keeper of records, Lord Drano, is away. So security at his townhouse should be like.
Get yourself a drink, and one for me. Still alive, I see. And since you're here, that means you weren't captured and hauled off to a Redwin dungeon. Good for you. Were you able to... Ulran was exiled? That can't be right. He's an exemplary officer and a good man. Plus, he's the son of a counselor. Why in oblivion would House Redwin banish one of their brightest stars? I can see that. There has to be more to the story, but I'm not sure how we get it. Still, you proved you could be trusted. And you admirably performed this task. So I suppose I should let you meet with Vea now. There's an abandoned cave along the coast. It's in the swamp and smells like rot, which makes it the perfect place to hide. Vea's supposed to wait inside, but she's bored. I know she's been sneaking out. You'll find her in the cave or just outside. Get to the swamp and find Vea. She's eager for any information about her brother, so she's really going to appreciate getting that registry. Just try not to be too charming when you meet her hero. She has enough distractions as it is. House Redoran isn't emptying its coffers so you can chase your own tails out here. You pay the War Claws well, because the War Claws are the best there is. We have the kitten scent. It's just a matter of time before my warriors catch her. Of course, Ferrara. Just make sure she doesn't get out of the swamp. I'll take my soldiers and guard the eastern paths, in case she eludes your warriors again. Ah. The Counselor's Lackey. I understand you've made significant progress in your search for Vea. As a matter of fact, so have we. This whole Lord... My mercenaries have spotted Vea skulking about the northern portion of the swamp. Between my soldiers and Fair Harau's war claws, the Counselor's daughter will soon be home safe and sound. Vea's brother. <laughs> it's a sad story. Killed one of his own soldiers to protect an Ashlander, of all things. I think they were being too lenient when they simply exiled him. But that's how they treat the privileged few. 
Ulron always had an unnatural attraction to the Ashlanders and their savage ways. He felt that an Ashlander life was worth more than a Redoran life. The Council didn't agree with his assessment. This will all be over as soon as Ferhara finds Vea. Khajiit mercenaries of the highest order. For members of a lesser race, Ferhara's warriors are surprisingly effective. I employ them to bolster our forces. Between obligations to the Pact and other matters, House Redoran is spread thin of late. As you say, Ferhara's war claws take their contract as seriously as you do, however. Get in their way, and I can't go. Ferhara assumes the Counselor's minions will not present a problem for the war claws. Yes, Captain? The Outlanders have been warned, Ferhara. I leave everything else to your discretion. Ferhara enjoys a friendly rivalry as much as the next mercenary. But the Relef kitten belongs to War Claws, yes. Let's not get our tails tangled over this, Dull Claw. Forbade is such a complicated concept. It assumes that the rules are applied equally to everyone, and we both know the foolishness of that assumption. The War Claws have a long-standing contract that predates any proclamations by the Counselor. Captain Breven's predecessor? Forgive, Ferhara. This one can barely remember the names of those who lack clothes and fur. But yes, we worked with Ulran. Though Breven appreci- Trade secrets, you understand.
stupid war claws. Now I know how a mouse feels. By the three, you really shouldn't sneak up on a person like that. If you're working with those mercenaries, I... Oh, right. Now you mentioned something about that. Look, I can't wait to hear what you learned. But this... Unfortunately, there's a mob of those beast people between here and the cave. You're going to tackle that mob of fur and claws. I'm impressed. Meet me in the cave to the north when you finish with the mercenaries. I can smell the dark elf kitten. Looks like we're the first ones here. What do you think of my luxurious accommodations? It's got dirt and rock, fungus and a poultry fire, all the comforts of home. Anyway, you said you had information about my brother, Oran. What did you find out? No, that can't be right. Oran's honorable and noble. He's a model soldier. What could he have possibly done to warrant being banished? What? My brother has always been interested in the Ashlanders, even showed them a kindness the rest of the house doesn't approve of. But for him to kill someone, especially one of his own soldiers, something terrible must have happened. I know the tribe that Oran liked to help, brought them supplies and such. He'd go and visit their camp whenever our father wasn't paying attention. Will you go with me to talk to them? Wait, someone's coming. She can handle herself just fine, hero. Vea, grab your things. It's time to go. Go? Why? What's going on? The Warclaws are marching toward this cave along with half the House Redwin soldiers in Balmora. We need to go now. Damn it. They must have followed us. I'll get my stuff. an arrogant, impatient, overconfident young woman. Now, the back tunnels. Better than heading out the front door and right into the main contingent of Redoran troops. One more thing. The back tunnels wind their way through territory that House Redoran recently acquired. We may run into some resistance, but it shouldn't be as bad as what's waiting outside the front of the cave. Stable to you? Oh. 
church everywhere. Captain Brennan thinks the counselor's kitten might try to escape through these tunnels. Damn! Those cat bastards are harder to shake than a blind date. I can't get captured and taken back to my father. Not when I'm this close to finding my brother. That must be the way out. I just hope there aren't any red runs up there. We're surrounded! And that's my father! What's he doing here? Sweep the caves. If you spot Vea, report back to me. She's not to be harmed. I prefer that you don't harm the agents I hired either. There's no need for bloodshed. Father ruins everything. I'm so close to finding my brother and he shows up to drag me back home. Well, I'm not going back without a fight. You... you do that for me. Thanks, I guess. But what can you possibly do against all those soldiers? My father brought the whole damn army with him this time. Clever. Tell my father whatever he wants to hear. That might actually work! Afterward, meet me at the Ashlander camp to the south. My brother would often visit that particular tribe. It's as good a place as any to start. Once I find Ulran and make sure he's all right, I'll meet with my father. But that meeting will be on my terms, not his. And tell him to call off his soldiers, or I might change my mind. Halt! Who goes there? Stand down. These outlanders work for me. The captain reported that he had seen you in the area. There are also multiple reports that Vea has been spotted. I also said that the captain has his own resources. The War Claws report to Briven, not me. Look, we're all just trying to get my daughter home safely. Now, it was a gamble, I admit. An opportunity I couldn't let slip away. You won't make me feel guilty about trying to find my daughter. So... Where and when will they meet with me? Very well. We'll do this her way. Vea can be as stubborn as her mother sometimes. But tell my daughter that my patience won't last forever. Next time, I expect Vea to be with you. Or I might just let Captain Briven do this his way. Do as I command, and let them pass.
Those certainly aren't Ashlanders, not with those tails. This is... disturbing. I can't believe this! Why allow the war claws to run roughshod over the camp like this? What's House Redderin thinking? And what in the name of the three have they done with the Ashlanders? My brother often visited this camp. Took me along a couple of times. It used to be such a vibrant place, so full of life. I know House Redoran wants to expand along the western coast, but I never expected they'd set the war. If Ulran was here, he'd never stand for the war claws invading the camp. He told me the Ashlanders were the same as you and I. Different beliefs don't necessarily make people bad. We need to see if we can find out what happened here. I really want to help, but Nario won't hear of it. We don't get our hands dirty unless there's a writ attached. She's so fond of reminding me. We'll hang around and wait for you to find something before we move in. Bea, I don't think this is a good idea. We're trying to keep you out of House Redwin hands, remember? You're not my parent, Nario. I can take care of myself, even if the Mother of Blades doesn't think so. Damn it, Bea. You know I hate that title. Ah, ooh. If I'd realized how popular this camp was going to be with Outlanders... Ah, Ulran the Exile. He disgraced his family and lost his status, but remained true to his heart. Ulran is here. He tried to stand against the Redorans, just as they detained me within this yurt. I assume they dragged him off to the mine. Along. It's a small hole in the ground, but it served us well until the Redorans and their... Get the key to the mine from either the War Claws commander or the supply yurt, whichever suits your needs. Perhaps you'll find what you seek within Kudanot's depths. To keep the head and the body separate, as long as I... I have no doubt. However, my place remains... We're just going to burn them? Intruders! War claws! Attack!
Stay back. You don't need to see this. What happened here? Oh, gods! They murdered these poor Ashlanders! Oh, no! Oran! Oran! Wake up, please! You can't be dead! You just can't! Maya shouldn't have had to see this. Even I'm finding it hard to believe that the mercenaries would slaughter these Ashlanders for no reason. Not to mention the son of a house counselor. It doesn't make any sense. I suppose anything could happen in the heat of the moment. But to kill a Redron, even an exiled one, that's presumptuous even for the War Claws. I wonder if Eris knows about this. I'm not sure how is going to get her answers now. I've seen these before. They use them in East March to record and send important messages. They're expensive and it's rare. If you're listening to my voice, know that my time is short and what I have to say is important. Brother, is that you? Everything that happened was a deliberate act to discredit me. I need to report the event so my sister can learn the truth about her brother. You have to understand, I don't share my house's hatred and distrust of Ashlanders. So, during my normal patrol, when I heard that Ashlanders had come to Balmora and were causing trouble, I was dubious to say the least. I arrived to find one of my soldiers arguing with the Ashlanders. He spat at them, called them savages. When one of the Ashlanders objected, my soldier drew his sword. Before I could intervene, my soldier's blade struck him down. I believe... Oran! Damn it! What am I supposed to do now? I agree with Ulran's assessment. I didn't say that. I'm just not sure how to proceed. We're entering dangerous waters here, going up against House Redrin. And we don't even have a writ to protect us. I'm going to take... You do that. Intruders! War claws! Attack! Intruders! War claws! Attack! 
place is fascinating. I wonder how long it's lain undisturbed. It could be years, decades even. I'd hope to find more Dwemer relics, but I suppose the view is inspiring. It certainly is. Flatterer. You can see this view anywhere now, can't you? And yet I never grow tired of looking. Speaking of looking, we should start viewing larger homes. What's wrong with our current home? It's rather small, isn't it? <laughs> it's cozy. Just enough room for you and me. And you don't see how that could become a problem? I, um, no. Well, you've done a lot more than look since we married. At houses? Wait, Bravora? You're friend? <laughs> that happens when one enjoys the view, doesn't it? That's wonderful! I'm going to be a father! Yes, dear. Yes, you are. We need a new house with a real kitchen and a second bedroom. Perhaps even three bedrooms? Uh, one step at a time, dear. Open your eyes. Please, open your eyes. Are they gone? Yes. You fought them off. Oh, good. Dying for nothing would have been embarrassing. You're not going to die. I won't allow it. That's ambitious of you. I can mend more than a scrape knee. You'll see. Just don't move. That feels better. I told you. You're still bleeding. Just a little more. I can save you. I will save you. Take care of the children. Me. Promise. We'll take care of them together. Promise me. I will, I promise. But keep your eyes open. I wish I could. Bravora! You've made these years so wonderful. Bravora! Bravora! Your wife signed a contract, Gilan. She did not complete it. But... she died. And now the crystals she was to procure for me have been acquired by my rival. I... I've lost the mother of my children. Your failings are not my problem. We don't have enough money to pay you back. Then we will sell your house. We can't do that. Master, please. My, my children... ...may purchase their own dwelling with their own money. Nary's only just turned eight. And Mills... You would offer... an alternative? What can I offer you? 
I understand you have some aptitude for magic. You will serve me. My children will remain in your home so long as you do not violate our contract. But who will raise them? When will I see them? You will see them when I don't need you. Or would you rather see them in the street? No, of course not. Thank you, Master Drenum. I will serve you. You sign your contract today. you able to recover my memories? No. Ask my children. Naria works at the stables. Yes. Do I know you? I'm trying to think. I have nothing to I don't want his money any more than I want his apology. Or perhaps you should stop. How's Talbani still keep slaves? Come on. Any as lazy majors accomplish anything. But what about the pact? Well... Has Talbani stayed out of the pact? The wizards have been Customers are always welcome. And so the complication. What kind of comp? No, that's not possible. My son was banished, ordered to leave Vardenfell and never return. Vea was with you, and you left her out there. By the three, everything is unraveling. No matter how hard I try to maintain control. I need you to do something else for me, if you would. Tell my daughter I'm sorry. Tell her she needs to stay away until I can calm things down. I don't want to see anything happen to her. Promise me. And take this. Consider it payment for your efforts thus far.
If you'll excuse me, it was never meant to be an attack. I sent Captain Bribbon. House Redoran has been slowly expanding. How can I help you? Outlander, over here. Now you told me what you found in the Ashlander mine. I can't imagine what Veya must be going through right now, but she shouldn't be alone. That's why I came looking for you. Now you has responsibilities to tend to. You... One other thing. Now you. I have it. Something about who. Carefully. Something about. Carefully. What are we drinking to? My, you look like a well-traveled individual. If you're looking to give your mount a well-deserved rest, you've come to the right place. We know how... My mother? Father... No matter what, no, are you? Oh, it's you. Sorry about that. Did Arshaw send you to check up on me? I swear, the next person that treats me like a child is gonna find- No, I don't think so. It's just been difficult. Finding poor Auron in the Ashlander camp. I need to be doing- I know. But- Well, no, are you wouldn't- I appreciate you agreeing to see what you can learn at Arenim Manor. My father used to say it was used by- You- you did? How did he take it? I mean, he didn't- Really? I suppose that makes sense. I think he loves us, in his own way. But what- He didn't expect- <laughs> My father doesn't know his children as well as he thinks. Either of them. That's why I had to get away. Join- I can't agree to that. I need to figure out what happened to my brother. Who was involved? That's all I've been doing. Thinking. And I think Ulran was right. I think someone wanted him out of the way, and they orchestrated the event with the Ashlanders to do it. Someone played my brother for a fool, and it cost him his life. Briven's as stubborn as my father when it comes to following the rules and regulations of House Redoran. Politics, foreign relations, the Ashlanders. 
You name an issue, and Ulrand and Briven were probably on opposite sides of the argument. It got to the point where I had to ignore both of them, or they'd drive me insane. Come, drink up. Forget your troubles. Where did it go? Someone help me!
I expected you hours ago, hero. It's not polite to keep an assassin waiting. I was wondering how long it was going to take Vea to convince you to follow me. But she thought I didn't notice when she glanced at my writ, didn't she? Where is my overly curious apprentice, by the way? I know Vea wants answers, but this is my job. There are rules, especially where the lords of the great houses are concerned. First, don't kill any Redrans. That's a violation of my writ and could have serious consequences for both of us. Second, you sneak around and search for anything that pertains to Auron's exile while I figure out how to deal with the counselor. We need to be invisible. These things work best when no one but the target knows we're there. If you get spotted, you're on your own. I even cough on anyone without a writ, and the Morog Tong will have my head. That's the question, isn't it? It nags at us the way the torchbug nags at the brave little scrib in those children's stories. I'm not saying that. Accidents happen. But they certainly made sure Uron was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Both in Balmora and again in the Ashlander camp. In addition to whatever you can find here, we should also talk to Captain Briven. Riven's name keeps coming up. At the very least, he was Oron's best friend once. He might be able to shed some light on Oron and what happened to cause his exile. And I really want to know what took place after Oron left us that message. I'm not privy to the laborious. There have to be. My... The front door is guarded like a bank vault. Maybe there's another way in through one of the buildings by the docks. This looks promising. Might even lead to the wine cellars. I could use a good bottle of wine. His fate was such that no woman would have him.
remember her name, the pretty one. See what you can find pertaining to Uron. I've got a dagger and a writ with Councillor Dolvara's name on them. If we don't find anything, maybe we can ask for an invitation to the upcoming council meeting. I'm sure they'd be happy to answer our questions. Redoran issued an advisory against the Morog Tong. Fat lot of good that's going to do the counselor. So, Counselor Dolvra does know something about theirs. Of course, we do. I specific. We discovered that the next meeting of the High Council will take place at the consulate outside Balmra. The war clause and the Ashlander abuse aren't completely sanctioned by the house, and Dolvara was present when Ulran was exiled. Not a bad haul. That means we have to get Dolvara to spill her guts before I spill her guts. Just keep your wits about you, hero. Dolvara wields her feminine charm. Be quick with your questions, hero. When I slip in, so do my daggers. Ah, you must be here about those pesky patrol schedules. After all that clandestine correspondence, it's a pleasure to finally meet you in person. Now, well, look at you. I'm impressed. The last person House Drez sent over was... Oh, you do, do you? And why... You're obviously not my afternoon appointment. You'd best take your leave before I have my soldiers throw you into the swamp. Ulron's dead. Everyone knew Ulron cared more about those savages than he did for members... That's what you're wearing? All right, but it's your funeral. How dare you? I'm a lord of House Redoran. The Morog Tong. The Morog Tong issued the writ with your name on it. You do remember that House Redren frowns upon slavery these days, yes? Hmm? <laughs> Alakir Massagel, take another look around, hero, and see if you can find anything else related to Auron. More proof that Dolvara was in bed with both House Halalu and House Drez.
That's Captain Bruthen's seal. I suppose our evil counselor courted favor wherever she could find it. Captain Briven, or he's trying to hide something. I suppose she's probably pulled tight as a boat. Bitter green was under. Let's flay this outsider!
Halt, Fetcher! Halt! I think we should execute criminals on sight. But my captain won't allow it. He wants your bounty. Now get lost, scum. Back again? Took your sweet time. What good is that going to do? They won't speak to us. House before family and all that. Believe me, I'm more than familiar with redder and honor. Still, I suppose I know a few ways to get people to talk. More rules. I thought we were beyond those kinds of limitations. Riven was Oren's best friend. Would he really betray my brother? Regardless, I want you to have this. You could have... So which soldiers are we talking about? I know most of the people my brother used to work with. There's no time to waste. We'll get Vatala and his soldiers killed! Let me gather my gear and write a note for Nariu. I'll meet you near the Hlormoran stronghold. The more...